Hi, so I've had several people reach out to me asking me how to toggle game objects using Udon. So I thought I'd make a tutorial showing how to do it. Um, so the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to be using a pre-made script that is, um, that's already made. All the Udon is actually already done with it. So all this script does is toggle game objects. Um, so if you want an actual tutorial on how Udon works, this really isn't it. This is just, here's the script, here's how to use it. What I have here is just a really simple scene. There's a plane with the collider on it. There's two mirrors and we're going to make two different ways to toggle both these mirrors. Uh, one is going to be using like a cube as like an on interact where you just hit the cube, mirror toggles, and then the, um, the other way is we're, we're going to make a UI menu that if you hit the button, it toggles the mirrors. Pretty straightforward. To test this, I'm not going to upload to VR chat. Instead, I'm going to be using a uh, Cyan emulator or Cyan emu which is a tool for Unity that allows you to emulate VRChat within Unity without uploading. If you're not aware of that tool, and if you'd like it, I'm going to link it below. It's created by uh, Cyan Laser, and it's a really good tool. As you can see, I've got Unity up. I've got this simple scene going. I'm using the correct version of Unity that VRChat currently runs on, and I'm using the most recent uh, version, or the most up-to-date SDK version that VRChat has launched for the SDK 3. Um, I'm going to create a new folder here, and I'm going to call it Udon Scripts, and I'm going to pull in the script. So this script was originally created by Wi-Fi Punk, and I've edited it a little bit to where it's, um, so that all it does is toggle game objects. So this, this will be linked in the description if you'd like it, and I'm just going to bring that in and put it right there. And so the first thing we're going to do is create a cube that we're going to use as the trigger. So I'm just going to scale this down. doesn't really matter what size it is. I'm just going to try to put it somewhere where the player can click it. So to make this cube a button, we need to make sure that the cube has a collider on it, which it does. It has a box collider, which it comes in automatically in Unity. And then we need to add a Udon behavior. And now in the Udon behavior, we have this thing called program source. All you have to do is find your script, drag it over into the program source, and then it does its stuff, and now it's loaded. Now if we press open, you don't have to do this, but um, I'm going to show you what the Udon part of it looks like. If you press open Udon graph, you can see everything that it's happening. So right now, this script is set up as an interact. And basically, this means that when the player interacts with this object, then the script um, happens, right? And if we look over here, we have this thing called public variables and then a game objects toggle with the drop down. If we hit that drop down, we can see that we have uh, an option to drag in a game object. And we can change this number to be as many as we want. Um, but we're only going to be using it on the one mirror, so I'm just going to keep it as one. I'm going to go back to the scene, because we, we don't actually need to do anything with any of this. Um, so just leave it alone for this trigger. We will mess with it with, with the UI menu, but for now it is good. You don't have to do anything. We want this mirror to toggle when you click this button, so this mirror is the VRC mirror one. Um, I'm going to hit the button, go down. Go to the game objects toggle. We're going to use it on just one object. We're going to grab VRC mirror one, drag it in here, and then that's it. It should work. So if I press play, or if I were to upload this to VR chat, um, this should toggle this mirror on and off. So we're going to go test that right now. And it works. Awesome. So there you go. You've got the ability to toggle a game object with Udon. Um, now let me show you how to do it with a UI menu. So we're going to have to actually change the, the Udon code for the UI. So I'm going to duplicate this so that uh, we don't affect the, the script that is going to be on this cube. We want that to still work. So we're going to duplicate it and make a new one. And I'm just going to call this UI activate. Game object. Cool. 
So let's create a UI menu. Um, so we're going to go down, we're going to right click in the hierarchy, press UI, and go all the way down, we're going to make a button. And it makes this really, really big thing. Um, and so we're going to need to change this UI to, to fit in, um, in this area and work with VRChat. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Canvas, and I'm going to change this from screen space to world space. And then I'm going to go up here to the layer. So right now, by default, it puts the, the UI menu on the UI layer. And the UI layer is the layer that uh, VRChat puts, like, the the menu, I believe, and some other things. Uh, basically, you if this is on the UI layer, the player won't be able to interact with it. So we're going to change that to the default layer. I'm going to press yes, change children. And now the player can interact with this. Now we need to resize this. So I've changed it to world space. We're going to go here, and I'm just going to change it to a thousand by a thousand, and I'm going to scale it by a thousand, and then I'm going to relocate it to zero, zero, zero. Now, if I go to the button, I'm going to change this to be 800 by, let's say, 150. And let's see, and now I'm just going to move it so it's in the canvas. So now we have it resized and it looks better. We're gonna, I'm going to go to text because right now you can see the text is really small. I'm going to go here and I'm going to change this to like 100 and I'm going to press toggle. So now this is on a layer that the player can interact with, but the player can't interact with it yet because we need to add a component called UI shape, the VRC UI shape needs to be on there so that the player can interact with this UI menu in-game. So, for the most part, this is a working button, kind of. Um, players can interact with it, they can click on it, it just doesn't do anything right now. So we're going to change this button so that it does do something. And to do that, we need to go to the button, and we need to add an event here for the on-click. So we're going to press this add, and we're going to want to drag in itself so that it reference itself. And for the function, we want it to reference the udon behavior that we're going to add. So right now it's not on here because we haven't added a udon behavior component to this to this game object, which is which is what we're referencing this button. So let's go ahead add a component. Let's add the udon behavior component, and then we're going to grab our UI activate game activate game object script we're going to pull it in here and it's the exact same script as this we just duplicated it we're going to pull this drop down and we're going to click this this is the vrc mirror game object we're going to go back to the button go down to the game objects toggle and we're going to drag that over into here now this still won't work even though it's set up exactly how it should be um oh well, we haven't referenced it yet so let's go ahead and reference this the function we're gonna now we have this udon behavior we're gonna press udon behavior and we're gonna go all the way down to send custom event string so this is set up but it we need to set a custom event string to, for this to reference to know what is going to happen down here. And the way we do that is we need to change the Udon graph just a little bit. So let's open the Udon graph and let's go to this right here. So right now we're, we have an event interact. An event interact basically says when a player interacts with the game object, then all this will happen. But we need to change this from an interact event to a custom event. Um, and the way we do that, we're going to press space, and we're going to look for uh, event custom. It is in here somewhere. Event custom, here it is. So I believe the way I found that was if press space, go to events, type in custom, and it's right here. So we need to change this from interact to event custom. I'm going to click this. I'm going to see where it goes first. It goes all the way down here. So we're going to delete that, drag this out, put it back to where the, uh, the event interact went. And then we are going to type in um, any phrase here. You can put anything you want. I'm just going to type in toggle. And then I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to go back over into the button 
go into the on click and I'm going to reference the string. So now the button knows that when you when it's clicked, it's going to reference itself, go to the udon behavior and hit this custom event which is going to trigger the script. So now that it is all set up, it should work. So let's test this out. And now if we go over here, it toggles. Awesome. And now since we duplicated the, the, the script that we're using, this should still work. And it does. Sweet. So that's how you do it. That's a real easy way to do it. Um, like I said, this wasn't like a full in-depth of how Udon works. This is just, this is how this script that I have works. And if you'd like this script, it's in the description. And yeah, I hope this helped. Uh, bye.